Dead by Daylight was back today with another PTB, and as always, they included some stuff in the files, and I'm going to show you guys what's coming up. Now, if you want to know what's going to be in the PTB, if you want to know what changes are coming to the game, that's not where my channel shines. You should go and watch The King for something like, he talks about the Freddy reworks, and he talks about, you know, what the devs were talking about on stream and stuff like that. I'm just showing you the cosmetics that are coming to the game, and about the Chinese New Year event. First up, everything that will be in the document that will be linked just like the last video in the description. Not everything in it is something that's absolutely brand new. I based it off of things that were modified. So anything that was added within the PTB, which means any files that were changed, even if they were already in the game or coming to the game. But anything in this video is stuff that I'm quite sure will be brand new. The first thing I'd like to talk about is what I'm pretty sure will be the Chinese New Year's event, as you can see by the clothes that the two are wearing in the picture. So as we can see, we're getting a new outfit for both the Huntress, which is this pig outfit, for David King and for Feng Men. And we'll go ahead and take a closer look at all three of those. So she's wearing a pig's head, which I hope is supposed to be Jigsaw's. And then she has this whole outfit covered in blood and a new looking weapon, even though, you know, technically it's just a modified version of her old one. And I think overall it actually looks pretty nice. It does look kind of terrifying. And then next up we have David King. He's trying to rock this whole new outfit. I don't care much for that hair but i think the design on at least the pants is really cool i don't care too much for the shirt and then obviously his shoes are plain old shoes and i think overall you know it does have that chinese new year vibe but if we're going to be talking about outfits that give us the chinese new year vibe we got to talk about feng min now she's going full on chinese new years from the earrings the whole dress to even her shoes go with the outfit She's walking up like she's wearing something that Chung Lee from Street Fighter would wear for Chinese New Year. Now that was called Moonrise Magic and it is a store banner so more than likely all these outfits would be purchased obviously. But the next store banner I have for you will make a bunch of your fantasies come true. It is called Schooled Spirit Magic. Whether they misspelled school or they tried to include school and old I don't know. But like the name suggests this is a bunch of schoolgirl outfits that will be for the spirit. There are three outfits that I found in the files whether that's it or there will be more added, I don't know, but I'm assuming the three is the only ones. Now, there's not much to talk about here. All three are just recolorings. There's a little bit difference on the makeup on her eyes and her lips, but overall, they look pretty good. I like them. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people will go for it. Next, we have a really nice Valentine's one, which I'm guessing will be released sometime around next month because it is for Valentine's Day. At least that's what Valentine Magic would have me believe in. As we can see, this is for the nurse and for the wraith. And the nurse's new outfit, especially her new weapon, I really like. I think I might just buy the weapon for it and use it with her old outfit that she got not too long ago. So we see the wraith in this gentleman's kind of decor with his date with his lady although you know if you're playing the wraith you're not a gentleman you're an asshole and i think that it actually does look kind of cool on him all right so now we have the nurse who is blindfolded has a lot of blood over her which you would expect from a nurse i really like her new weapon especially when i'm gonna show you the close-up here in a moment and obviously you know she looks really great the nurse's outfits always look great and her weapons are always the highlight to me and i really like this one now the final store banner but not the final set of outfits because the other outfits weren't attached to any store banner is the bike messenger magic which is exactly how it sounds now while the trapper does show up and the banner he does not actually have any new outfits coming for him this is just for dwight there's not too much to say about it it's just Dwight. if he was a messenger he's got the helmet he's got the backpack the the glasses, the visor, whatever you want to call it, all that. And basically, it's what he would look like if the trapper destroyed his bike. If you guys want to see any other outfits that are coming to the game, then go ahead and click the link in the description for the Google Doc, and it will take you to where I posted all the photos. Again, some are just things that were modified that got tossed in there because of the new date that they had on them. So about those ones, I'm sorry, but there is still a lot of good stuff. Everything I covered in this video, things that I didn't. So let me know in the description, what outfit are you really excited for? I really want the nurse new weapon i really like it but i do kind of like to play huntress so i kind of want her new outfit as well tell me what you guys think about the outfits which one do you want most and you guys know routine if you like the video leave a like share and if you enjoy the content subscribe to the channel and come on back for more